Welcome in everyone. It's another weekend of soccer action here across all of the major top European leagues. And while there are tons of ways to bet these games, I've narrowed down nine different games into three different parlays coming from the EPL, the Bundesliga, La Liga, and Serie A to limit some of the exposure to not bet too many games here to create three what look like very attainable parlay options to hit all coming in around even money. So let's get into it. And if you find this info helpful, please give the video a like a share and subscribe to the channel for more soccer picks. MLS also kicks off this weekend and I'll have some more picks in that as well in a different video. Parlay number one in Europe. I'm going to Germany in the Bundesliga starting with Bayern Munich and RB Leipzig. The stock has never been lower for Bayern right now. They started that started with a 3-0 loss to leaders Leverkusen. They then lost 1-0 to Lazio in the Champions League and then an embarrassing 3-2 loss last weekend to Bochum. Now they've conceded a goal in five straight, multiple goals in three of five, and they've also conceded at least one goal in seven of nine. Now Leipzig is well out of the title race. They are still fifth and they're scoring over two goals per game with 48 goals scored in 22 matches. In all competitions, they're two, one, and one in their last four. They did lose one nothing to Real Madrid in the Champions League. And they are six, two, and four in their last 12. They've scored multiple goals in their last five Bundesliga games. It was 2-2 two two in September when these teams last met, and Leipzig won 3-0 in the Super Cup back in August. Leipzig also won 3-1 last season. Now, prior to that, score lines between these teams were 1-1, 5-3 Bayern, 3-2 Bayern, and 4-1 Bayern. So even in better times for Bayern, Leipzig have still often been able to hang around, score, and even recently win some games against them. I think we can certainly see both teams score in this game. You could up that to both teams scoring over 2.5 if you wanted better odds. For this parlay, I'm just going both teams to score. And we'll go to the next leg of the parlay in Germany. It's Werder Bremen and Darmstadt. Werder Bremen's quickly rising up the Bundesliga table right now. They're seventh. They're four points back of sixth place. Over the last five rounds and even the last ten rounds, they've actually collected the third most points in the league behind only Leverkusen and Stuttgart. In the last nine games, they are 5-3-1. They've scored in every game, and they scored a total of 13 goals in those nine games. In their last 23 home games in the Bundesliga, which is where they'll be here. Going back to last year, they've only failed to score three times. And in those games where they didn't score, came against Leverkusen, Bayern Munich, and Dortmund. All much, much better teams, obviously, than Darmstadt. Darmstadt sit at the foot of the table right now. They're 2, 6, and 14. They've been outscored 51 to 23. And those 51 goals allowed are the most, and it's the most by a large margin, with Gladbach being the next worst defensive team, giving up 43 goals. Their road form is equally bad, where they're 1, 3, and 6. They've been outscored 26 to 10. At home or away, they're winless in 15 games, and they've been shut out in five of their last eight. Darmstadt did win 4-3, though, earlier when these teams met this season in October. But that came at home, and that came with Bremen in much uh, worse form than they are now. They're in much better form now. I could see this being a Bremen win, Bremen to score at least two goals, or simply Werder Bremen to score one goal in this parlay. And we'll round it out with Stuttgart and Kern. Third, Stuttgart hosts 16 Cologne here. Stuttgart are rolling with four straight wins in the Bundesliga, two on either side of a 3-2 loss to Leverkusen in the Pokal, but in those four Bundesliga games, they scored, uh, they won 2-1, 3-1, 3-2, and 5-2. While Cologne have struggled all year and they have just one win in nine Bundesliga games, they lost 1-0 at home to Bremen last week, and they've been shut out in five of their last nine games. Their defense is not good by any means, uh, allowing 36 goals in 22 games, but that is just the seventh most goals they've given up. But goal scoring has been abysmal with 15 goals scored. The lowest in Germany right now, away from home, they are 1-4-6. and six. They've been outscored 20-6. to six. They've only scored two goals in their last four road games as well. Meanwhile, for Stuttgart, they already won 2-0 over Cologne in September, and they won 3-0 at home in the meeting prior last season. Stuttgart's an undefeated 3-1-0 against Cologne in the last four games. Cologne can't score, and that's a problem against a high-scoring Stuttgart team with multiple goals scored in five straight games and who are 9-1-1 and at home where they've outscored their opponents 34-10. to We'll go for a Stuttgart win to round up the parlay, so it's Stuttgart to win, Bremen to score, and Bayern and RBL, Leipzig there, plus one. Uh, both teams to score coming in at plus 125 odds. Parlay number two is on Saturday. And it's in the Premier League, starting off with Manchester United and Fulham. It's 6th against 12th here. Man U is flying. They're still undefeated in the calendar year of 2024, winning 6 and drawing 1 in all competitions. And they scored multiple goals in all 7 of those games to start this year for a total of 19 goals 
in those seven games, but they also allowed nine goals in their last six games and at least one goal in five of their last six. So they're scoring, they're winning, but the defense has not been airtight. Now among their scores, Rasmus Holden has, Holden has scored in six straight games, making him the youngest player to do so ever at just 21 years of age. For Fulham, Rodrigo Munez has scored in three straight EPL games, but they'll be missing Raul Jimenez and Kenny Tete to injuries and Jao Paulinha to suspension. Fulham has just one win in eight across all competitions, and Fulham are just truly dreadful away from Craven Cottage where they are 1-4-7, and seven, and they've been outscored 26-11 to 11 this season. Now, if you look back at all matches, they have just two road wins in 14 games, and both of those came in the Carabao Cup, not even in the Premier League. I'm going to ride this Man U train a little bit longer and hope they to not get burned and just take them to win this game. And if you have that a, bet a, a site like Bet365, if they get up by two goals, that'll come in as an auto win. So I'm going to hope that they can get two on the board quickly and just get that uh, quick check mark there. Man, you usually beat Fulham. They won one nothing in November. They also won 2-1, 3-1, and 2-1 in the games against them before that. Man, you is 15-3-0 versus Fulham, going all the way back to 2010. And Fulham has not beat Man U since 2009. So we'll kick this parlay off with a Manchester United win. And we'll have two more selections coming from the EPL to include in this parlay. It's Ashton Villa and Nottingham Forest. Villa's cooled off significantly despite winning 2-1 last week in Fulham. They only have two wins and seven across all competitions. Bets on both teams to score are 4-1 in their last five. Despite three straight home losses of 2-1, 3-1, and 3-1, Villa are still usually a lock to get on the score sheet, having scored in 31 straight games at Villa Park. Now, Nottingham could well get on the score sheet too. They've scored in five straight and also in 11 of 12. Both teams to score has gone 10-2 and two in their recent 12 games. Now, six of those 10 games in all competitions have come at home. They'll be away here where they're just 2-3-7 and seven in the EPL, and they have just two wins in 11 in all matches, one coming in the FA Cup of those wins. Forrest won 2-0 at home to Villa back in November. The Forrest gave up the fourth most attacking third touches, so there should be plenty of chances for Villa here to get another win. I could see this being a both teams to score, if you want better odds or a straight bet, or let's just go simply over 1.5 goals in the parlay. We'll do something similar with Bournemouth and Man City here. City, they're second with 56 points. Bournemouth, 13th with 28. Now, City eked out a narrow midweek win, 1-0 over Brentford on Tuesday, but that still extends their undefeated streak to 16 games where they're 14-2-0, uh, but they have given up a goal in five of their last eight. Bournemouth haven't won in four games, but they are 0-3-1, and drew Newcastle 2-2 last week. Both teams' score bets have hit in all four of those games, and despite not winning lately, or uh, they have scored in 18 of their last 19 games, only failing to do so in a 4-0 loss to Liverpool. So Burnmouth still, despite losing, generally a good bet to get on the score sheet. Now, both of these teams see their games average among the higher end of goals per match in the EPL. Man City averaged 3.4 games in their match, 3.4 goals in their matches. Bournemouth 3.3. Now, certainly this could be a both team to score, an over 2.5, a City win in both teams to score. All of those look like they could be good options. Now, City have routed Bournemouth in recent games 6-1 to this season, and last season 4-1 to and 4 nothing. And they've won each of the last 14 meetings, so expecting a Bournemouth upset here is probably unlikely. Now, that bet that I just talked about, possibly a City to win in both teams to score, that's also hit at a 5-1 and one rate in the last six meetings between these teams. So that could definitely be a good single bet uh, if you wanted to bet it that way. To round up this parlay to get us the even money, I'm just going to ask for two goals. So we'll go Man U to win, Villa and Forest over 1.5, Bournemouth and City over 1.5 coming in at plus 106 odds. And we have one more parlay, three more games. And these are in La Liga and Syria on Saturday and Sunday. Starting in La Liga in Spain, it's Barcelona and Getafe. There's conflicting trends here to consider between these teams. Barcelona are third, Getafe are tenth. Now, head-to-head, -head, when you look at the records when they play each other, these games have been very tight and low scoring. It was nil-nil in Getafe way back on match day one this season. And last year, it was nil-nil and one nothing Barcelona. And there was another nil-nil in 2022. So, only one goal has been scored between these teams across their last four meetings. But if you look at the body of work throughout this season, the stats would say something completely different, and there's generally been a lot of goals in the games for both of these teams. And so if we look at the other hand, Barca games average 
the most goals per game at 3.4. Katafe has averaged the eighth most at 2.7. Barca have seen the most over 2.5 games this season in La Liga at 16 and 9. Katafe are just 11 and 14 to over 2.5, so they're not a good bet to have three or more goals in their games. But if you lower that to just over 1.5, both of these teams have gone 19 and 6 to that. In all competitions, Katafe have seen two or more goals in 14 of their last 16 games. They're undefeated in three games. Both teams to score is 3-0 in those games, and both teams to score is 5-2 in their last seven. Now, in La Liga, Getafe has only kept one clean sheet in eight games, and that came against Granada. Certainly hard to see them doing that on the road against a Barcelona team with lots of scoring threats. But Barca has undefeated in five since Xavi announced he's leaving at the end of the season, but they haven't played top competition. They played Osasuna, Alaves, Granada, and Celta Vigo in La Liga. Certainly not great teams, and that still included a 3-3 draw with the lowly Granada and a late PK to beat Celta. And they did almost win against Napoli in the Champions League on the road this week, but did walk away with a 1-1 draw there. Both teams to score bets will be 16-2 in the last 18 Barcelona games as well. There's been two or more goals in 17 of those 18 games for Barcelona. So you could probably go both teams to score here. That does hit a lot in Barcelona games or simply ask for over 1.5 because we have seen very few goals between these teams when they play. So I'm just going to go over 1.5. Next, Almeria and Atletico Madrid. Fourth, Atletico Madrid are traveling to 20th. Almeria here. Almeria are still winless on the season at 0, 8, and 17. They've allowed the most goals in the Liga with 52 goals. They have drawn, though, back-to-back -back games. 0-0 with Bilbao and 1-1 with Granada. This should be an Atletico Madrid win. Almeria, after all, are still winless on the season. But Atletico Madrid are not a great team on the road where they are just 4, 2, and 6 in league play. They were away in, on Tuesday in Champions League and they lost 1-0 to Inter. There's no shame there. Inter is one of the top teams in Europe right now. But they are just 1, 1, and 3 in all competitions. And in all competitions, just two road wins in 9. And that those wins, those two road wins came against Granada and Lugo, a lower division team playing in the Copa del Rey. So just to be safe, I will go double chance you, uh, in this game, so that's Atletico Madrid to win or draw. You could get a bit better if you want to go draw, no bet uh, as well. Uh, still, I can't see them losing this game. They are playing a team that still has no wins. But Almeria has pulled off a few decent home draws against the likes of Bilbao, Girona, Betis, and Valencia. Almeria won. Uh, Atletico Madrid won 2 1 back in Madrid earlier this season, though. I'm just going to play it safe and ask them just simply not to lose this game. And we will round it out on Sunday with one game in Serie A. It's AC Milan and Atalanta. Top four clash here. It's third AC Milan, fourth Atalanta. Milan played in the Europa League on Thursday, and they lost 3-2 away to French side Rennes. But they still advanced 5-3 on aggregate. They didn't really need to win that game. But they, uh, they will be the more tired team, considering Atalanta has been off all week here, resting up for this game. They also lost AC Milan away to Monza last week, 4-2 in Syria. But prior to that, they had been on a very hot run, going 10-2-1 in their previous 13 games. AC Milan hasn't failed to score in a game since way back on November 4th, that being a run of 21 games. They've scored multiple goals in seven of their last eight. There's been three or more goals in their games in 10 of the last 11. And if we look over to the Atlanta side, they are flying right now with six straight wins across all competitions, where they've scored multiple goals in all six of those games. In the last 13 games for them in all competitions, they are a very impressive 11-1-1, and they've outscored their opponents by an incredible 35-9 to mark. There's been three or more goals in 10 of their last 14. There's been two or more goals in 15 of their last 17. If you look at over 1.5, that's gone 20-4 for Atalanta in Serie A, and it's 18-7 for AC Milan. AC Milan games average the second most goals per match, 3.2. Atalanta the seventh most at 2.9. It was 2-1 Atalanta in Copa Italia play back in January recently. It was also 3-2 Atalanta in Syria in December. If we look uh, further back between these teams, there's been at least two or more goals between them in each of the last 15 meetings. Certainly, I would feel good about a both teams to score or for the purposes of this parlay, simply over 1.5. So we go Barca, Getafe over 1.5. Atletico Madrid, double chance. AC Milan, Atalanta, over 1.5. That would come in at minus 125. So those are my three best soccer parlay for this weekend. Let's aim to keep improving on this 50 and 30 season record with European soccer parlays. You can see all the picks at the end of this video. And good luck with all of your bets this weekend.